Hello there folks. Got a pretty exciting afternoon planned out. Lissy has been gracious enough to let me do some exploring this evening and go and check out a little snow resort so I can do some snowboarding. And um, I'm pretty pumped because the area's got some really nice, um, like woodsy sort of national park around it. So I'd love to be able to see if I can find some nice woodsy boondocking for the night and see what happens for tomorrow. I told Alyssa that I'd love to do some more. She's really pumped to be able to spend some time with her family for the time being and so I, um, I said to her that I would love to do some like solo exploring and just do some um, some woods camping and maybe write some songs on the guitar and just do some just do some serious alone time and um, I'm pumped I haven't been on an adventure like this a solo adventure since I was a single man driving around my van back in Australia surfing and exploring some of the areas so this should be good and um, I found a cool little snow resort that has got a a deal tonight where you can board and get the board hire for like thirty dollars <laughs> so that is just like unheard of in Australia so I'm gonna be enjoying it for all it's worth all right let's see what this gorgeous part of the country looks like shall we made it out here and it looks freaking awesome I love that it's got like a, um, a board park and some like really steep black runs on the edges and it's got like nice clean runs in the middle it's a really nice laid out area I'm, I'm pretty impressed so let's get out amongst it let's get amongst it and do a couple of hours of boarding what do you reckon come along come along for the adventure First run, always the best run. Not really. Always gotta get the always gotta get the bearings back in order. Jeez, I don't know. I feel like I'm used to having a uh, little bar that comes down here. This is kind of interesting. Wow, what a mountain. Oh man, Did you, could you hear a little bit of how icy that was? That is not good. Great lighting. That is not good. Icy is not good at all.
nice to do a bit of boarding into the night it's probably not as beautiful as snowboarding in the middle of the day <laughs> but beggars can't be choosers and because that was only like $35 for me to board from 5 o'clock in the afternoon till 9 including board hire boots and stuff so it doesn't get much better than that ladies and gentlemen and um, the place where I went was called Alpine Valley in Ohio. There's only a smaller mountain, but it's still got like some black runs and it's got a big board park and tubing and it's definitely a fun day out for the family. Just wish I had a buddy here to slide down the mountain with, that's the only thing. But tonight I'm hoping I can find somewhere pretty, pretty cool to, to park up. Nothing's really popping up on freecamping.net around the area, but um, yeah, I'll just have a bit of a look around and hopefully I can find something nice, just nice and peaceful with a bit of woods around me. That would be that would be ideal. And then I checked the the weather for tomorrow and it's looking like there's going to be a lot of s snow slash rain. And I don't really want to get the RV stuck. Yeah, it's looking like it's gonna rain. Ooh, shivers. Yeah, it's looking like it's gonna rain slash snow here for the next three days. So I can't really go too remote because I don't want to get um, I don't want to run into any black ice. These are things that I have to learn now with the snow. But let's see what we can find tonight. Hey, I'm looking forward to um playing a bit of guitar and then getting the buddy heater going and just snuggling up in the van in the snow and um, I will miss the girls, I'm not going to lie, I can already feel it, <laughs> I can already feel like it's just too quiet in the RV by myself, but I'll get used to it, maybe not, I don't know, let's see what happens. <laughs> well, I found somewhere nice, it's really nice out of the way. It's kind of behind like a, a factory complex and it's nice and woodsy. Plenty of snow around, so it'll be nice to look out in the morning. Look at this guy. Man, this has been one of the best investments ever. $70 for this buddy heater. Now I'm just running a hose that goes down into a propane tank, which is under my seat. And um, so far that propane tank has lasted it's probably been over a month now of using it most nights. That's pretty good. That's really efficient. Um, that's $15 to swap over uh, one of the 9 kilo propane tanks. So that is definitely how you would... That's how you'd heat in the snow. The most... I think the cheapest, most efficient way of doing it. A lot of people have said that with these sort of propane heaters you've got to keep a window cracked um, so I always keep a couple of the windows cracked a little bit and um, yeah it's just nice it feels like really nice and snuggly in here already so I'm going to um, sign out for the night play a bit of guitar have a bit of me time and um, just do a bit of reflecting now that I got the time sort of by myself without my girls you guys are awesome. I just wanted to say a big thank you to everyone out there and just for all the, the nice stuff and the support that you're constantly saying and um, we definitely don't take it lightly. <clears throat> um, just the fact that you make the effort to get online and watch our videos and comment on stuff and like the video, is it means so much to us because um, this is something that I really enjoy doing. I enjoy making movies and I, I love editing and um, I feel like it's an awesome creative outlet for me and at the same time I get to have some home footage 
to show my kids and my grandchildren and also for Alyssa and I to watch when we're older. I'm hoping that this is going to be an awesome um, way for us to sort of express our life to our future generation of family because it's something we're very passionate about. So yeah, thank you so much. If it wasn't for you guys, I probably would have lost, um, I guess maybe, um, I just wouldn't feel the encouragement that you guys have constantly given me. So thank you so much. And um, I'd love to do like a Q and A or just um, just something to sort of give back to you guys. So if you guys want to ask some questions, anything about our lives, we're more than happy to to share our lives with you. So um, pop those questions in the comments, and Alyssa and I will look through them. And um, otherwise, just have an awesome night and um, and a happy 2017. So good, a whole nother year on the horizon. It's always exciting, isn't it? All right, guys, you're awesome. Check you later.